What a show, what a show. But we're going to start with this. Now, do you remember in the 70s, the biggest, noisiest, messiest, most colourful show in television history? It's time to wallow in nostalgia and custard, because it's Tis Was. Saturday, Saturday. Oh, yes. Well, that was from the 1970s. But this Saturday, the Tiz Was team are reuniting for a one-off special. I just remember mainly the fact that for eight years, I smelt all the time of custard. There was custard in my boars, my kids smelled <laughs> custard, my wife smelled custard, my car smelled custard. It was just custard everywhere. And the odd thing was that somehow, Sally managed to stay completely clean throughout all this chaos until one Saturday morning. Oh. Must say hello to Jackie Green from Stoke on Trent. It says, Dear Chris, I thoroughly enjoy your programme. It's very fun. I love all the cartoons. I like Hoodie Elbow. I like playing your folks. But I don't understand why Sally James never gets a custard pie. I do. Well, I think we can clear that up. Hooray! So <laughs> oh, I'm just saying how violent that is. Yeah, it is violent, and it hurts, Sorry. I should think. When you yes, do it that. did. I broke a nose, I think. No, no I didn't. <laughs> Sally doesn't look any different. No. What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing at all. Nothing? <laughs> Don't throw anything at me. No. <laughs> I have to say, we had... Because we were kind of wary, because it's been 25 years, it's the anniversary when we stopped, yeah. and we've all gone a million different directions, and it was like, is this going to look a bit embarrassing? We laughed en masse so much, oh, and the great. audience was so hyped. I mean, the audience went absolutely wild. So when you first from got the, the phone You know, call... sometimes audiences sort of really start and it sort of peters. Yeah. They just stayed, they're probably still there. I mean, it was just extraordinary. Did you feed them all sugar beforehand to keep them all happy? No, no, they, were, no, they, no, they were fine. It was just, I mean, they even cheered. I mean, how sad is this? They even cheered wildly when the ATV sting came up. Yeah. You know, ta 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 ha! Exactly. And it stayed like that all night. We were about 50 minutes over or something. But well, you, you uh, it was that splendid. When the phone call came to say, oh, we've had this idea, Chris, mm. we think we might put Tiswas back together again just mm. for one night only. Mm. And you, you did have reservations. Yeah, I did. We all did. Because you just thought, mm, it, it's, it's frequently better to let people imagine how very funny it was than see it and go, see, it wasn't that good. Um, and I said to, to, to the guys at ITV, I said, look, maybe, but let me make the calls around all the guys, the, the sort of hardcore of Lenny and John Gorman and, and Spit the Dog and Sally and whatever. And it was a sort of deal that if we all agreed, we'll do it. It was a bit like a band, man, but it was a bit like that. And if, if one of us said, no, look a bit, you know, I don't want to play, sort of mm. thing, of Spit the Dog and Bob, you know, had said, not really, don't want to go there, we, we wouldn't do it. And that, that was the sort of deal. And, I mean, it was extraordinary. Each conversation was, do you know, that would be really good fun. One off, one off, you know, one night only, you know, whatever. The next one will be 2032, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll keep we my mug. Kill right. I'll keep my mug. Look, look, I was, I'm thrilled with this. Very happy. Thank well, you for bringing these in Well, you have to be back yes. at the end of the show, you know. Uh, oh, do we? Oh, all right. Well, we're enjoying I'll tell company. you what I did find out when, when we went back through all the stuff is that the budget, and it showed, frankly, the budget was 300 quid. Oh. <laughs> I know it was the 70s, but, you know, 300 quid was the show. That's 50 quid more than this one. Well, I know. I'm, so you know. how much did you earn per show, then, if it was 299 pounds, because I was the producer. <laughs> so I... no, but you weren't the, the main book. presenter to start with, were you? No, it was a guy called John Asher. Yeah. Uh, John and I did the first year, and then John sort of went off to seek his fortune, and then... I mean, there was, there was a... We, it was actually all very boysy. For about two years, it was very boysy, and, and we, we didn't really want a girl. And we mm. thought, oh, we don't want girls. They're soppy and they want to play kiss chase and all that. You know, as they do. Um, it's no good pulling, <laughs> pulling your socket. I have a um, and we, and anyway, we met Sally, and she was great. I mean, yeah. she fitted yeah. in so easily. She, I mean, it sounds awful, but she was one of the lads, and and and, and the whole thing really, really took off from Sally so Joyce and the... Lenny as well, because Lenny wasn't there at the beginning. Yeah, of course. What was the original? Because uh, because because Tiz was was today is Saturday. Watch and smile. It was. It took us seconds to write. That. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the original idea when you when you were got together? Right, it was okay, a this very is totally simple. free form. Well, no, there was a guy called Pete Thomason who used to be the morning continuity announcer, and he. He just got bored, basically, between very old, dull cartoons and things. And he'd sit there and say, I'm coming up later on, Forest Rangers, and then a bit of Tars and all this. Mm. And one morning, for no particular reason, Pete set some silly competition just for any... Because he had a few sort of letters coming in from kids and things. And they had this enormous post bag, just this huge post bag arrived. And, and Pete said, look, 
there is clearly a whole army of people out there with nothing better to do on a Saturday morning. Than what, I mean, it was very much downtime. It was, it was real cheap and cheerful television. Who started a lot first? of stations didn't even a lot of stations didn't even open mm. on a Saturday morning. Yeah, there was yeah, children's yeah. cinema. Children, children's cinema disappeared at a stroke. Yes. Immediately within one year of Tiswell's coming on air. So, so who, uh, ha had Swap Shop started oh, on the other side? Oh, God, no. He no. always claims that. Does he? What's the matter with him? <laughs> no. Noel. Noel, God bless you, probably here now. Noel. <laughs> Noel came two years later on the BBC as a response to the ITV success of Tiswell's. Mm. He keeps on dragging that up. No, it's about two years later. And Swap the Shop. two programmes couldn't have been more different. No, that's right, and I think that's good. Because you were either a Swap Shop house or you were a Tiswell's house. Yeah. You know, and, and that worked quite well. Mm. It would have been silly to do, you know, similar sort of shows. Mm. Um, now you're going head to head with Noel Edmonds again. I read yes, the paper I read that this morning. morning. This is now in about what's October. This about? It, well, oh, it's, October. A, it's a new daytime show that I'm doing, which, yeah. which, which does look fun. It's quite exciting. It's quite, it's quite sort of tense psychological drama. I mean, basically, you have to win, but make everybody else think you're losing. But 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 it's the inevitable inevitable sort of press headline: Tarrant and Edmonds again for some time. I mean, Noel happens to do a show on the other side. At daytime, so will I. But it's not—it's not that again. You can't hope for it not to be, but a, anything but a big head-to-head -head no. reunion, head-to-head -head, no. though, can you? Bless him, he's all right. I actually got like no, we're going to roll well with him, but, yes. but don't tell anybody. <laughs> well, it must be weird for you to do another because you've got the ultimate quiz show, game show. Yeah, well, you know, I've got all day, haven't I? Think. <laughs> <laughs> this, excuse me, hello. <laughs> so, you, what I did want to ask you was that, that back in those days, you were, you know, sort of king of Saturday morning telly. And there wasn't a health and safety department no. to, to worry about. And I tell you what, this time around, trying to do it all again, and saying, of course, we want a cage in the corner. They're going, well, what will you do with the cage? Oh, we'll be throwing buckets of water all over them, which we did. The, the waiting list for the cage on this one night special on Saturday night was just hundreds and hundreds of people <laughs> saying, oh, please, I've got to be in that cage. I've got to be in that cage. Oh, one bloke came on and couldn't walk for six months afterwards, could he? Yeah, oh, that was Tony Brutus, the strong man, yeah. He tried to lift Big Daddy and um, Bernard Manning. Together? Both, who, yeah, on, on a sort of harness. Yes, but Big Daddy's like that. And, and, and Bernard Manning, surprisingly, was, you know, miles, miles lighter. I mean, the guy went down like a sack of spuds. And actually, he completely ripped his sort of tendons and ligaments and, and things in his leg and, and didn't work for six months. But the great bit on this one clip is that he does the old showbiz. He sort of hops off waving. <laughs> <laughs> the show must go on.